Hello, so this is our second Tempra Paint Scale Builder page. And so we're gonna do some color mixing. On your paint tray today, you're only going to need the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. You're going to mix the secondary colors and you're also going to um, be mixing your own color here at the bottom. So to start with the top, um, I'm going to just paint all the red, yellow, and blue spaces first get those painted and then I'll mix just to save me some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint in neatly and then I'll come back to you once I have all the red, yellow, and blue spaces painted in. Okay, so now I have all the red, yellow, and blue spaces painted in. So now I'm gonna be mixing the primary colors to make the secondary color. You're going to be mixing those two primaries together to make this color, but then you're also gonna take this color and put it down in the color wheel where it goes. So blue and yellow mixed together make what secondary color and then that secondary color is painted between the blue and yellow space to show on the color wheel the color wheel order and how colors are made so we're going to mix blue and yellow together so i'm going to take some yellow move it over to a divot you need more of the lighter color and less of the darker color so i'm just going to scoop up a bunch of yellow now I need to rinse and dry my paintbrush off between colors because I don't want to mess up the blue. So I'm going to take some blue and move it over. Notice how I'm not touching the yellow. I'm dipping my paintbrush in the blue and I'm pulling the blue off my paintbrush on a clean spot of the divot. And now I'm going to mix this around and see if this is enough blue to turn this into a secondary color. And it looks like it, it is enough blue. And so I've made green. So this paint color green will go here in this little circle. I have a lot of paint on my paintbrush, so it's really, really thick with paint. Um, so I really hardly had to move it at all to fill in that circle neatly. And neatness counts on this, so let's paint this as neatly as possible. Try to stay within the space. Okay, so I'm finished with the green, rinse my paintbrush off, dry my paintbrush off, and now red and blue mix together. Red is the lighter color of the two, so remember you need more of the lighter color and less of the darker color. Okay, rinse my paintbrush off, dry my paintbrush off, and get some blue making sure not to touch the red and mix that around. That looks like violet or purple. So we know blue and red mixed together make violet. So we're gonna paint violet in the circle and then violet down here on the color wheel. And when I get to this point, I'm gonna keep my paintbrush up on the end, the edge of it, like a ballerina, up on its toes to fill in that small space. Rinse my paintbrush off. If you get paint on the gold part of your paintbrush, if you swish it, over, swish it over here in the water basin part where there's no teeth, it'll come off your gold handle. Rinse dry. And then the last one is yellow and red. So remember, you need more of the lighter color. Yellow is always the lighter color. If you're mixing yellow with anything else, it's always the lighter color. Try my paintbrush off. <clears throat> Get some red. All right, and then the last secondary color is orange. This looks a little red to me, so I'm gonna rinse my paintbrush off. So when you do mix one of the colors, but it doesn't look quite right to you, rinse your paintbrush off. And dry your paintbrush off, and then add more of the color that you think you need. Okay, that looks like a much better orange, not quite so red. Okay. 
Okay, so that's painted nice and neat. And so the last one is it wants you to mix two colors to get a third color and then you get to name it. So you've got six colors mixed on your tray. Take two of these colors and mix it together and then come up with your, a name for it. It doesn't have to, if it's like a real color and it has a real name, you don't have to give it the real name. You can give it whatever name you want to give it. So since I already have orange on my paintbrush, I'm going to start with orange as the first color just to make it a little bit easier on myself. I'm going to rinse my paintbrush off. Dry my paintbrush off and I'm going to add some blue to it. So I'm going to get some blue on my paintbrush, paint in this circle with blue. And then I'm going to mix some blue into that orange because this is the last color I'm making. So it's okay if I mess up the orange now. See what color that makes. This is just an experiment just to try it out and see what you can make. You might like the color you make or you might think the color you made is super ugly. I'm not a fan of this color that I just made, but it's practice. All right, so you're gonna put your paintbrush away and then before you put this paper on the drawing rack, I want you to give your color a name. So this looks like a really dark gray to me. So I'm gonna call it deep sea. Deep down in the sea where the angler fishes live in the dark and they have their little light on their head. So I'm gonna call that deep sea. So that's the name I gave it. You can give it any kind of name you want. And then you're gonna take this, put this on the drying rack. And you're going to take your paintbrush and your, and your mixing tray over to the sink. You're gonna run the water, wiggle your paintbrush around, clean off the mixing tray and your paintbrush at the same time. And then you will be finished with this temper paint skill build.